Welcome back to the Sanjay Says podcast. Today, I'm going to be talking about how we should all be talking about our mental health. A friend recently sent me a link to a public service message about mental health. It encourages us to check in on those closest to us, to ask how they're doing. What I noticed when watching the video, and the video is actually a guy sitting in a soccer stadium and one after another, friends sit down beside him and say, hey, how you doing? But the friend is clearly having some trouble, like his face is, you know, I mean, he's, he's pensive, he's not talking a whole lot. Uh, and it's a public service ad for a soccer team. So this guy's watching a soccer game. And what I noticed when I was watching the video is that the man's friends do ask him how he's doing, but he chooses not to be vulnerable. He chooses not to confide and say what's really going on in his life. You know, it's the wrong time. It's the wrong place. Men don't cry. All that bullshit. Um, I believe that we all care about the mental health of our friends. I believe that given some sort of sign, we'll extend a helping hand and give a comforting hug. The problem is that all too often we don't get that sign. And before we know it, that friend can be gone. I've suffered from debilitating periods of depression in my life. I always appreciated check-in calls from my closest friends, but I often didn't want to talk about my problems. I didn't want to bore them with the details of my lack of motivation or the anxiety that rises up in my throat at the thought of getting out of bed. I'm fortunate that my thoughts have never been of the suicidal sort. When I was at my worst, the idea of ending it all just seemed like too much work. So here I am, and I'm better for it because I learned to talk about my problems, and I would like to pass this message on to you. We'll all be better off with a little less perfection and a little more vulnerability. Telling people to be more vulnerable is unlikely to work directly. The only real path is to be vulnerable yourself. If you think a friend may be suffering from mental health concerns, tell them about your own concerns. We all have them. The most astonishing thing happened after I began to talk openly about my bipolar disorder and depression. People started to open up to me every single day about how they too suffer from depression, anxiety, loneliness, and crippling stress. Trust me, it's not just you. It saddens me how much stress society puts on us without adequate training in how to deal with it. For too long, mental health has been seen as the ugly stepchild of overall health, ignoring the fact that all health begins with mental health. What's wrong with you? Just snap out of it. Oh my God, the number of times I heard that. Psychiatrists are among the lowest paid health professionals. It's a reflection of the stigma that surrounded mental health in the past, but it's also a reflection of 50 years of psychopharmacology that have failed to increase public health but have filled to overflowing the coffers of Prozac, Ozempic, and Xanax. What is going to solve the mental health crisis is talking about the mental health crisis and talking about our own struggles. I like it when people feel comfortable telling me they're feeling off. I'm able to pass on things I've learned in coping with mental health issues. That spending time with friends is always beneficial, even when you don't feel like it. That there are dozens of drugs and therapeutic techniques that your doctor's never even heard of that might work for you that it's okay to feel these emotions and that talking about your emotions makes them less impactful. It's really difficult to change other people and it's only marginally easier to change yourself, but looking in the mirror is the place to start. A year ago, I lost a friend. He had cancer, but actually died from a hospital chemo dosing error. He was going through multiple stresses in his life at the time and I wasn't there for him. I tried to reach out, but he didn't want to engage. I realize now that if I had asked him for help with my own problems, he might have responded. I might have been able to get him to open up if I had talked about myself first. If you see someone struggling, ask how they're doing, but don't expect them to tell you right away. Tell them how you're not perfect, that you're not doing so well. Tell your own story and hope that they then feel comfortable telling you their story. With the help of Shy Kids, my foundation made this video encouraging people to tell their stories to the disconnected, the lost, the disenchanted. We see you. To the sad, the angry, the ones with nothing left to lose and the ones with nowhere left to turn. We see you. To those who dare to dream and hope for a better world and a better life, we see you. You've been medicated. You've been institutionalized. You've been ignored and you've been abandoned. But you're not beaten. 
you're determined to find a path forward and transform. You are the hope and the potential for the future of our society. And when you decide to transform out loud, you help to prevent others from suffering in silence. Nikian Foundation is one of the world's largest philanthropic funders of FDA track and exploratory research for psychedelic medicines. The FDA needs data, but people need stories. We're on a mission to create a more connected world through creating, collecting, and sharing stories of transformative psychedelic experiences. Stories to teach what's safe. Stories to teach what's effective. Stories to show psychedelic seekers everywhere the astonishing breadth and depth of what can be achieved when using psychedelics therapeutically. Our web-based storytelling platform will be a searchable knowledge base for the next generation of psychedelic seekers. We need your help. Join us and share your story because the ones who are courageous enough to transform themselves are the ones who transform the world. Have you struggled with mental health? Are you in a better place now? And have you learned something about how to live a less burdened life? Talk about it to everyone. Are you in a dark place, not sure where to turn? Talk about it with a loved one. Tell your story. It's not just about you.